right now we're doing all these projects and we're kind of we're still like struggling or whatever mm. and these projects aren't really coming up yet but once they're all done maybe in a year or two randomly they'll all start coming up in like film festivals and people are gonna be like wow they have so many projects they must have done this year but no it's been like accumulation of three years yeah, work you, you have no idea of just like takes. all this like hustle and then all of a sudden you have five projects came out because of this whole time i've been busting my ass yeah and it looks like it's out of nowhere but it's planting seeds and hoping they grow it's interesting seeing it from the other side of the table cheers yeah. when like as an actor your kind of thing is you show up at the audition you do your thing you get booked you're mm -hmm. there for two days on set boom i'm out later yeah. but now that i'm on the other side now it's like oh man we were planning this four months ago writing the script yeah and then we just held the auditions and then now we like cast everyone and mm -hmm. now we're trying to get like a trailer shot and yeah. try to do a gofundme thing so it's yeah it's it's planting little seeds and then they grow very slowly mm -hmm. Back, all the time. back when I was like only acting, it felt so helpless. You know, like I had first, I started off with like confidence. I'm like, yeah, you know, but then you just realize, one, it, it's not a bad thing if you're not picked because it, you have no idea what you can for. never know yeah. why you didn't get picked. But I mean, but as soon as I started making my own projects, I'm like, what the hell am I waiting around for? You know, like because I'm literally writing mm -hmm. these things for myself, mm -hmm. and it's just like the feeling has completely changed, and I'm involved in the process and. It just, you feel more like an artist, yeah. you know? Yeah, you can make, you get to make choices. What's up? Do you have a problem, Nate? Nate, Nate, Nate. Um, Nate. <laughs> you don't have to raise your hand, Nate. No, yeah, you no, have no. to. I love like raising my hand. I was going to say, like, yeah. can y'all speak more on that? The, the, the um, contrast between actor versus producer? Like, making your oh. own thing versus that? Yeah. Um, like, any, um... Oh, okay, well... Are there any pros and cons well, to either one? Like, it, mm -hmm. Yeah, no, there definitely are. Let me think. So, acting, I feel like I'm just sitting around hoping... For an audition oh my god and I remember waiting so long for an agent and then getting agents going on a few auditions and then being like this is the exact same thing just with you know just they're taking some of my money <laughs> mm. <laughs> I mean I'll gladly give them my money if, I'm, if, if I get projects <laughs> yeah but I just realized you know when you're an actor you kind of you're sit there and you're like okay the doors will be open once I get an agent and you get an agent, and you go to more better auditions, be like, this is the exact same thing. You know, nothing's really changed. You're just going to, like, different doors, if that yeah. makes sense. And once I started making my own things, I'm like, okay. So I'm sitting here with writers, and we're writing a part for me, and we're giving it all these, like, juicy character development things. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I get to be involved in rehearsals and talk to DPs. And what I also really like about it, sorry, I'm totally going on a no, tangent. Man, yeah, um... Because now that I'm more involved, I'm sitting down with the other producers and I'm meeting uh, different directors, I'm meeting different DPs, I'm meeting mm -hmm. like sound guys, and I'm actually making connections with these people who will go on to other projects and keep me in mind if they need anything. So it just, you don't understand how much there is once you just take initiative and create your yeah. own thing. That was uh, that was a big thing to emphasize when I was at AMDA, because yeah. there was like, you know, like, you know, acting is, most of it is the way you look. Mm -hmm. So, like, yeah, they're like, don't wait for somebody else to cast. You cast yourself. Make your own work. Do your own stuff. Yeah. That's the only way, like, you're going to be able to put a reel together because mm -hmm. this business is, yeah. at, at the end of the day, unfortunately, like, bigger productions, it's about the money. Mm -hmm. And they just need to know that you can deliver. So you make your own projects. Like, for me, I do a lot of, like, action kind of comedy stuff because mm -hmm. no one's going to... Just the way I look now, no one really takes me seriously as, like, the I gruff kind of... Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not going to be, like, yeah. the cool guy or the drug addict. You're not addict. a mobster. I'm not a mobster. You could be a drug addict, but, like, but like the good guy gone drug yeah. addict. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, like, your, your, I'm, like, the best friend or I'm, yeah. like, the, the funny guy. Mm -hmm. So, like, make your own projects where you play the funny guy and yeah. you do it the best you can. And then when they ask you for a reel and you're like, here's the stuff. Yeah. You wanted a funny guy? Boom, this is all my yeah. stuff doing the funny guy. But then also, make other projects where you're not the funny guy. Oh, exactly. And That's you Star just Wars prove. Thing. Yeah. That's Star Wars thing. I was a villain. Which Good. was super fun. I remember seeing some of the stuff. Yeah, I had yeah. red hair. It was super long. And my wife hated it. She didn't like you being red -headed? No. She told, <laughs> she told me after like a, uh, I think after I got it cut, mm -hmm. I was like, man, I miss my long hair. She goes, I don't. I'm like, you like my long hair? She goes, I hate it. I'm so glad oh, you got yeah. a cut. I'm like... Isn't her hair kind of red? It is now. Yeah, she just died. <laughs> I was like, well, that's contradictory. I mean, 
It's one of those things. It's not what she signed up for. My yeah. hair looked like this for. She signed up for. But six you're an actor. You're years. gonna be changing. <laughs> <laughs> you had blonde hair when we met, and you're gonna have blonde hair when we die. That's what we. <laughs>